Hello everyone and welcome to the last tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to sync an intro and how to do color correction on an intro. Go to the effects and presets panel and go and search for looks. Make an adjustment layer by right clicking here and click on adjustment layer. And then you can apply the looks effect to the adjust adjustment layer. Now we're going to open it by clicking on edit. Okay, now you want to click on something down here and press T. Go to post and yeah, you can add some stuff that you like. I mostly go with S-curve and pop. You apply them by just double clicking them. Then you can go to camera and then apply something that you want. Mostly I don't pick any f anything from camera. Then go to lens. Click on lens vignette and then edge softness. Then click on matte and click a couple times on diffusion. Now we're going to change some settings. You do that by clicking on this thing and then press T. Now you can change the curve. And then for the edge softness, you want to zoom out a bit and then make this a little bit wider. Same goes for the lens vignette. And then at diffusion, you can set the color to purple because this intro is purple. And you can make the highlights only a bit higher and then the grade a bit less. And then you're done with the color correction. And if you're done, you can press this thing. Now for the sync, we want to make two adjustment layers. On the lower one, we want to add some S shake. S shake. And on the top one, we want to add some transform. Now we're going to add motion tile to both of the layers and then we're done with the effects. Now we're going to change some settings and we're going to add some keyframes. First at the S shake layer you want to drag motion tile above the S shake and make it 300 by 300 and enable mir mirror edges. Go to the first keyframe and click on amplitude. Click on the layer and press U. And now you can zoom in a bit. And then go something like five or four frames behind. Now make it zero. So at zero it doesn't shake and at one it does shake. And you can make it 1.5 if you want. Then you zoom out a bit. Select this and press Ctrl C. Then go to the next keyframe and then press Ctrl V and go to the next key keyframe and press Ctrl V. And at the end we want to make it zero. Then select all of these except for the first one. Zoom in and drag it four or five frames to the left. Now you have your shake, but first we're going to Disable Reflect, so make it No. We're going to enable Motion Blur. And we're going to set the frequency to something like 4. Select all the keyframes and press F9. Open up the Graph Editor and then you can change. As you can see, we have a nice shake at the beat. Okay, now you can close the S-Shake and click on Transform. We're going to drag motion tile above the transform and make it 200 and 200 and enable mirror edges again. Then go to the first beat and click on the scale stopwatch. Click on the layer and press U. Click on the S shake layer and press U as well. Now you want to go to the first keyframe and make this 100. Then you want to go to the actual beat and make it something like 120. You can make it 125 or 115, just whatever you like. Then we're going to do the same. 
Now select these two keyframes, press Ctrl C and then go to the next keyframe. So this one and then press Ctrl V. And we can ease it again by clicking, by selecting them all and pressing F9. Oh yeah, also make, uh, make it 100 at the end. Okay, here we have our basic sync. You can make the sync zoom out if you want by going to the second keyframe and make it 80 instead of 120. Okay, now we can add some black bars if you want. Click on the rectangle tool. If you don't see that, hold it and then select rectangle tool. Make the stroke black, of course, and then make this about 100. Then double click the rectangle. Click on the layer, press S, click this and make this about 500. If you want to make the black bars bigger, you can make this like 200 if you want. I like it at 250. Thank you so much for watching the last tutorial. I hope they helped you. So yeah, bye.